When you make an AJAX callback from a UX component, the data that are submitted uh, to the server are the current values for all of the variables on the UX component. So in this particular case here, we have a list control. And if we go and look at the, uh, at the list control here, we can see that the list control basically is a variable uh, called uh, list NW customers and that the list control itself has been defined to return the value from the customer ID field. So that means that when an AJAX callback is, uh, is made, the variable called um, LW, uh, list NW customers will be set to the value of the customer ID in the current row. So if we go, for example, over here, click on the row there, say for Bollard, and then make an AJAX callback, what we see in the uh, current row uh, data new dot list nw customers is the value of uh, Bollard. Um, but in some cases what you might want to do is do an AJAX callback and uh, submit all of the data that was in the list control, not just the current value of um, the selected row uh, and the, uh, uh, the field that the list has been set to. So uh, what we're showing in this uh, video is how you can send back in your AJAX callback all of the data in the list. So you can see now that if I were to go here and uh, press um, this button, do AJAX callback, you can see that what we have over here is inside the E object there. We've passed back there. Let's just go and expand that so it's a little bit easier to see. We've passed back all of the data that was in the list, so we've passed back a big uh, string of JSON data. And then you can see that inside the uh, XBasic function that handles the callback, we're taking that uh, JSON data and passing it. So now we have this P uh, XBasic array. And if we go look inside the P XBasic array, there's all the data that was in the list that has been sent back to us now as part of this callback. So let's go now and take a look at how that all happened. So you can see there were a number of rows that were submitted to the server. This is 19. So if we go back to our uh, component now and look at the button that makes the AJAX callback, you can see that what we're doing in this AJAX callback is calling an XBasic function called uh, XB. But we're also uh, uh, filling in this optional property in the um, AJAX callback function called uh, additional data to submit. And uh, in the uh, help over here, it explains that uh, this additional data is a series of uh, name value pairs in a query string format that defines any additional data that you want. So for example, you might have var1 equals alpha and var2 equals beta, etc. But you can also call a JavaScript function to return this additional data. So we're calling a JavaScript function called getData, which is going to return this additional uh, uh, data for us. So now let's go take a look at what the um, getData function uh, does. So getData is a JavaScript function. And uh, what it's doing over here is, first of all, getting a pointer to the list control itself. Now, once you've got a pointer to the list control, you can basically read um, the list control has a property called underbar r data. It actually has two properties, one called underbar data, which is the uh, raw data that the list was used uh, that was used to populate the list. And then it also has a property called underbar r data, which is the, um, the current view of the data in the list. So if the list has a client side filter, for example, or uh, ha if you've done client side ordering, then our data reflects the current view of the data. So if you don't have any client-side filtering and you haven't done any uh, ordering, then the underbar data and underbar our data uh, properties are the same. So this has now given us a uh, pointer to the array of data that's actually in the list itself. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, convert that into a JSON string. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing now with uh, our discussion of how to send back the data from a list control back to the server on an AJAX callback. So now that we have the uh, data that's in the list, we're going to call the uh, built-in JavaScript method to convert that um, data into a JSON object. So we call the JSON.stringify um, 
uh, method and passing in the array of data. So now we have um, the adjacent version of the data um, and now we need to convert that into a, a URL encoded um, uh, string so that we can then uh, uh, pass it back to the server on the callback. So we use a built-in function from the uh, alpha JavaScript library which is the uh, build URL parameter. So this is going to basically create a URL parameter with the name of list data uh, under by under by list data and then this value which is the the uh, JSON version of the array. So this is basically doing all the necessary URL encoding of, um, of the data and then we return that value. So this value now is going to be under by under by list data equals and then the JavaScript version of the data. So if we go back to uh, working preview and then we just actually call this function over here we can see what that uh, JavaScript function is returning. You can see it's returning under bar under bar list data equals and then here is the data um, that uh, under bar under bar list data is going to be equal to and you can see it's the URL encoded JSON version of all of the data that's uh, that's in the list. So now under bar under bar list data is just going to be one of the um, variables available to us on the Ajax callback. So let's go ahead again and do that now. So there we see under bar uh, e dot under bar under bar list data and it has the value which is this uh, JSON version of the, the list data and then uh, we can just take that list data and then call the xbasic JSON pass function to uh, pass that JSON to get an xbasic variable that represents all of the data uh, in the list. So you can see here we have all of the data in the list. We've got um, an array of um, 19 entries and each item in the array has all of the data uh, that was in the list. So uh, in this video here we've shown how an Ajax callback can send back to the server not just the current value of uh, each variable uh, on the UX component but it can also get the data that's in the list and submit all of that back to the server so that your XBasic on the server can process the, the data uh, that has been added uh, into the list control. Thanks very much for watching.